yourself. Congratulations on this season. Oh my gosh. I was so happy. I loved Victoria from season two. And so I was so happy to find out that she was going to play such a major role in season three. Um, it's just your performance, the character, it's all so fantastic. So congratulations. Thank you. Um, <laughs> okay. So it was obviously revealed in the end of season two that Victoria is a soup and was the head popper. Yeah. Yes. Shocking. <laughs> um, now in the end of episode one of season three, Huey finds out, um, now I feel like he assumes that now everything he knew to be true about Victoria is a lie, but I oh. have a feeling it's more complicated than that. She's a complex woman. <laughs> She really is. Um, oh my gosh. Can you tell us a little bit about Victoria's motivations this season? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I, I think there are, there are two pretty big things that drive her throughout this season. And they're both uh, very innately tied to her personal life. There are two people in her personal life that she very much makes the bulk of her decisions for. And uh, uh, and then also simultaneously throughout the season, she has to make two big sacrifices around those two people that are that are closest to her, and and I think in the moment that that benefits her, but I think she's a smart woman, so she also knows that the decisions that she makes this season will greatly cost her in the future. So she's 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 going through the gauntlet this season. She's really struggling. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I can't wait to see that. I know. Um, it's hard to watch. She's great. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> she has a great line in episode two. Um, she says to Huey, referring to his relationship with Starlight, he shouldn't be afraid of a powerful woman. So my question to you is, in your opinion, how would Victoria define a powerful woman? Ooh. How would Victoria define a powerful woman? <sighs> I mean, I think uh, she probably takes woman out of the equation entirely. I feel like she probably operates solely in power. She doesn't even want to be seen as like a powerful woman because that's still putting her in that category. And uh, I don't think she she sees a need for that at all. Um, she's just, it's just power. It's power no matter how you'd spread it. And it's just in the, it just matters whose hands it's in really and what the intention is with the power. So um, and I think she sees someone, she, I think she's someone who relates power to necessary choices rather than something that's good or bad. She sees it as necessary, um, which allows her to toe that morality line <laughs> pretty well. Um, but I think that's how she, she views power. Mm, yeah. I think we saw that beautifully, um, when, when Huey does witness her as the head popper, um, we see that conflict in her, which we yeah. didn't, didn't get to see in, you know, the end of season two. And I feel like that's kind of the, the meat that you're talking about, that complexity, the beautiful complexity. Um, clearly, her powers are very violent in nature. Very intense. Um, <laughs> very intense. <laughs> um, but, um, and I have a feeling this answer will be very similar to the last in that sense that it is so complex, but is she... Do you think she considers herself a violent person? I mean, it's hard to to take violence out of her um, out of who she is as a person because it's the the power that she has is just so innately violent. Um, so I, I do think she has a she has a strong relationship with violence. Uh, not that it was ever really her choice, um, uh, but yeah. I think she very much understands violence and uh, the the consequences of violence, the power yeah. that comes with violence, the cost um, of your own humanity that comes with violence. And I, I think we get to see her, her play the opposite of that when it comes to those more intimate scenes that we see her in and those more personal situations um, of her world, yeah. Oh, beautifully said. Well, thank you so much, Claudia. I was uh, surprised that I came up with that answer too. That was lovely. <laughs> oh my goodness. So eloquent. So beautifully said. Thank you so much. I look forward to watching the rest of the season. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much, Meg. Cheers. Bye. Bye.